if you want this research in academy send me a dm on instagram and i'll tell you how to get this research in academy hello guys in this video i'm going to make you understand how to use the focus separation via Gaussian blur in the retouching academy panel so let's get started so if you install your retouching academy newly you're not going to say it right here so to bring out your retouching academy all you have to do is come to your windows and click on your extension and click on your retouching academy you're going to see it here and you can choose to move it to any side of your screen you want so for the sake of this tutorial, i'm just going to leave it right here now that we have our retouching academy on the screen right now if you want to retouch using um the focus separation via gaussian blur the first thing you have to do you have to click on focus separation via gaussian blur and um if you use media to retouch you can also click focus separation via media like that for me i use uh via gaussian blur and i'm going to explain it to you to make you understand how to use it so once you click on it the first thing you're going to see is going to ask you to put a gaussian blur radius and right here you can choose any gaussian blur you want so i'm not going to explain gaussian blur what i'm going to say is if you want your image to have more texture use a higher blur radius if you want your image to be smooth use a lower blur radius that's all i'm going to be saying for this radius right here so once you pick your radius i'm just going to use 12 for this image i click on ok and you can see our layer tab right here let me just move my layer tab to the screen so you can see so you can see our layer tab right here we have uh the folder you can see the focus separation via gaussian blur is going to create this folder for you so inside this folder we have our low frequency right here we have our corrective tool right here and we have our high frequency texture and we have our high frequency texture copy layer right here so let me quickly explain what these layers are and how to use them so this first layer right here you know during focus separation we just separated the colors and the texture all the colors in this image are inside this low frequency and color tones so if i just turn off my high uh, frequency you can see we have only the colors why this corrective tool right here is where we can use our mesa brush to brush non-destructively that is if we make any mistake we can easily erase it or just delete this corrective tool and just create another empty layer on top of this low frequency so that we don't have to delete all the frequency separation and just start all over again from the beginning so that is where this corrective tool comes in why this one right here is a high texture consists of the um, textures on the skin so if i just hide my low frequency you can see we have only the textures on the image right now and the reason why this high, um, high frequency texture layer is true right here is because um the layer was duplicated and this below one is linear light while this one above is um normal blending mode so we don't really have to go in details what you should know right here is um this um two layers are the same so if you hide the first one the second one automatically hides if you hide the first one the second one automatically hides like that so let me just move this to the side so with that being said since the textures on this image is on the high frequency layer so if you want to remove blemishes from this image all we have to do is come to this uh, high frequency copy which is this first one right here pick your close time tool make sure your mood is set to normal flow is set to 100 align is check and make sure your current layer is checked it's really important if this current layer is not checked if all layer is checked or current and blue layer is checked and i just sample and paint you can see it's not making the image look good so it's very important that you change sample to current layer so once current layer is selected once i press alternate on my keyboard and sample and just remove the blemishes you can see it's uh, removing the blemishes so what i want you to understand here is that if you want to remove blemishes on your image when using this with an academic focus separation um method make sure you are working on your high frequency copy which is this first one right here to remove blemishes from your image because that's the uh, layer that uh, contains the textures on the image while if you want to use your mixer brush let me just show you make sure you are working on your corrective tune once you click on your corrective tune pick your mixer brush tool make sure you are using a soft rank brush it's very important make sure this place is checked and make sure you're using a clean brush 
and make sure this place right here is checked your custom and for your mixer boss settings you can use any mixer boss settings that works for you there is no perfect mixer boss settings it just depend on what you like using if you want to know my settings these are my settings my weight is set to 30 my load is set to 20 my mix is set to 20 my flow is set to 20 and make sure sample all layer is checked the reason why sample all layer is checked is because we are working on an empty layer and the layer that's below this um, empty layer right here is the low frequency which consists of the colors on the image so it's not going to affect the image so make sure sample all layer is checked so if you're using this with touching academic frequency separation and you want to use mixer brush make sure your sample all layer is checked and make sure you're brushing on this corrective thing right here so i hope you understand that part so the most important thing you have to do when you want to use a mixer brush to uh, brush on the skin make sure this high texture layer right here is turned off so just click on this eye icon right here and turn it off and once you turn it off the image is going to be blurry like this and come back to your corrective tone and just use a mixer brush to brush on the image right now and let me show you the reason why i said you should turn it off if this high texture layer is turned on and you just brush on the skin it's going to bring out textures so as you can see it's bringing out textures it's not making the image look good that is why you have to turn off this high frequency layer before you brush using your mixer brush so i'm just going to undo that by clicking on ctrl z to undo and um once your high texture layer is turned off come back to your creative tone now you can now use your mixer brush to brush on your image like that once you feel you're done turn on the high texture layer again like that so these are before and these are after so i hope you understand how to use the retouch and academic focus equation via gaussian blur right now and i hope you learned something for this video if you do make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well and if you want to learn how to retouch headshot like this make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative